Hey, we got another video for you. The month of June is traffic month at eBay, and throughout the month, we'll be hosting segments to help illuminate how eBay and sellers together help drive buyer traffic to the eBay site. We're now in our second week of traffic month, and I'm joined by our VP of seller experience, Harry Temkin. Welcome back, Harry. Thanks, Griff. Great to be here. Hello, sellers. Hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. Hey, before we start, tell us what's the connection between your role as head of seller experience and driving traffic to the site, which are kind of like buyers. Great question. So, you know, the way I describe it is my role is to make sure that our listing tools are easy to use and to help guide you to provide the right information to create a high quality listing. Because when your listings have all the right uh, descriptive information, your listings are more easily indexed in search engines. And that gives you more visibility to buyers both on eBay and off eBay. Makes a lot of sense. You know, in last week's podcast, Andrea Stairs uh, from Marketing went in depth on why it's so important that our marketing is relevant to the buyers who want to buy and who see it and how we work to make sure it is always relevant. How do you think about relevancy when it comes to our sellers? Well, look, you know, uh, you as our sellers know how important relevancy is. Um, and, you know, I think you're thinking about relevancy primarily in terms of listing seasonal or cultural relevancy and sourcing and listing what, you know, what your buyers want uh, at certain moments throughout the year is key. So in terms of traffic, relevancy means presenting eBay and specifically your listings at the most critical moments uh, in a customer shopping journey. Okay. And how are we doing that uh, on our side, on the eBay end? Well, I think one key way, and, and obviously I think probably the most important way, is through our investment in search engine marketing and specifically with Google Shopping Griff. Um, you know, you and I start so much of our online shopping on search engines like Google, and so does a huge portion of the world. I mean, meeting shoppers then and there is the definition of relevance, right? Yeah, it's true. And I know that even for me, I'm a longtime eBay employee and shopper. But when I think about something I need or want to buy online, I a lot of times I will start for looking for it on Google. So how does eBay how do how do eBay listings actually show up in Google Shopping? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, there's, there's really two main ways, and. And if you think about it, it, it's a crazy number because literally billions, if not trillions of, you know, Google searches are happening every year, right? So at the very top of Google search results page, shoppers are going to see a bar of Google shopping results, right? So you just literally go into search. You're not even on the shopping tab yet, but you type in something you're looking for and they elevate items directly there horizontally at the top. And then the second way, of course, is when you click actually on the shopping tab itself, and then it opens up a whole set of shopping results. Uh, and they also provide really advanced filtering to make it easy to find what you're looking for. In a lot of ways, it, you know, th their left-hand navigation is literally very similar to eBay's left-hand navigation. And that's why when we get into talking about item specifics, which we've, you know, we've been telling our sellers how important those are for our own left-hand navigation, they're going to be just as critical for Google Shopping's navigation. Yeah, because they, they match up. Absolutely. I mean, when you look down, you know, on that left hand side, you're going to see uh, if, for example, if we're looking at sneakers, uh, the ability to search by size or by type of sneaker, by brand of sneaker and even by shopping site to be able to filter just for eBay for sneakers of a certain price. Mm -hmm. And I can picture this now because, as I said before, I use Google Shopping a lot. So uh, what is eBay's role in getting listings into Google Shopping? How does that happen? Well, look, I mean, it, it may seem automatic because of how seamless it is, but, you know, the reality is we've worked really closely with Google uh, and are making a huge continual financial investment, actually, in making sure eBay listings get in front of all of these buyers looking for what is for sale in the marketplace. Um, I mean, we actually spend millions of dollars uh, in order for all of our listings to show up in Google Shopping. Uh, you know, it's not a free service, uh, but you as our sellers actually don't pay any extra for it. And I think that's really important to understand. It's literally part of just the regular fees, right, of listing on the platform. There is no additional. And whereas, you know, many of the other marketplaces, they do charge yeah. uh, their sellers and, you know, make it optional to appear in Google Shopping. Uh, but look, we just believe it's too important. Uh, and it's really a true investment from us on your behalf. 
Well, I'm glad it's not calling. I'm glad it's not costing sellers anything, but is it an investment that's actually paying off for us and as a whole? Oh, a hundred percent, absolutely paying off. Uh, in 2019, paid search brought eBay over 260 billion impressions uh, to our listings, and in a given week, I mean, eBay gets an average of 25 million visits from paid search. So, absolutely, is paying off for us. And for you as our sellers. I had no idea. I really didn't. Those are really mind-boggling numbers. Okay, so that's that's what eBay's doing with Google Shopping. What about sellers? Do sellers need to do anything to make sure that their listings are going to show up in Google Shopping? Uh, no. I mean, literally every fixed price listing is eligible to show up. And obviously, we have hundreds of millions of fixed price listings. Uh, and but here's the key: about twelve percent of those listings are disapproved by Google because of simple things that you as sellers can fix in their listing. So they have certain requirements, and a lot of those are a lot of the things that we've been telling you we need even for our own platform. So this should be really easy to fix up your listings. Okay, so let's let's go through those. What are the things that sellers need to make sure that they're doing with their listings correctly so that they're going to show up in Google Shopping? All right, so it really comes down to two main things, Griff. Product images, which are your photos, and item specifics. And how often have we been talking about item specifics, right? We did it at eBay Open last year. We've done it at every upfront. We're doing it on podcasts. So it's only fitting that we'll do it again here uh, to help you get up on uh, on Google Shopping. So first, uh, product images. And you know, ultimately, you really do have to have a clean white background. And not only do you need to have a clean white background, but it also you also have to be sure that it has no watermarks it has no text on the picture, and it particularly has no promotions on it or things like you know discounts or made in a particular country like the USA. Uh, they won't accept those. The listing uh, will be uh, rejected if you have any of those things um, in your or on your photo, let's say. And also, it really needs to only show single quantity items. You can't do multiples or bundles. Again, otherwise, Google is going to filter all of those out. And so that's why, uh, you know, one of the greatest things that we've added to our native application, uh, our mobile app, is Image Cleanup, which yeah. has had an incredible adoption rate. It's a super easy tool to use, and you can use it either when you take a picture or with existing pictures in the carousel, and it instantaneously gives your picture a beautiful, clean background. And it even has editing tools that allow you to further clean the photo. And this is something that we're going to be bringing to our desktop as well later in the year. So it'll be super easy to get your photos ultra cleaned up and make them not even shine on eBay's platform, but on Google Shopping as well. Cool. I can't wait. <laughs> now let's talk about the second piece, which is item specifics. Yeah. Now you've heard me talk a lot about the importance of item specifics. These are the descriptors, right, that help further index your listing in search. And in particular, they are absolutely required for your listing to show up when our buyers are using the left-hand navigation filters on our platform. And ultimately, it is really the same on Google Shopping. But here are some things uh, specifically that you want to take, uh, uh, be, take note of. So first of all, if you can provide the GTIN or the manufacturer's product number or the ISBN, right? These are those those product identifiers, those global product identifiers, if you know that, that is one of the core elements that you need to help it appear on Google Shopping. Now, if you don't have those, then you absolutely want to provide brand yeah. or the brand name because they will use that instead of those identifiers to ensure that you will get displayed. Because if you don't have those particular things, you're not going to show up in Google Shopping. After that, it's really important for you to then use things like gender or size. So if we're talking about sneakers as an example, once you have the brand, then you want to get into things that are, again, most important to buyers. Things like size, as I said, gender, color of the sneaker are really, really important. And so, look, here's the way I would think about it. One of the, one of the great things that we've done in our listing flows is we've now reorganized all the item specifics to display them in the order of importance to buyers. So we're showing you the buyer demand data right in the listing flow, and now we're actually ranking those item specifics by the buyer demand data. So if you think about providing those most important ones, 
those are absolutely going to help you also appear in Google Shopping. And then when you're thinking about your title, because title is also very important, not just on eBay, but for Google Shopping, you want to use a lot of those key descriptors of those top item specifics in your title. And you don't want to use terms like outstanding or cool or stuff like that, superfluous words. They don't, you know, they won't help you. Actually, they will hinder you. They will actually reject your listing if you put words like that in your title. Yeah. So what I like to go with, again, are the key descriptors, the ones that are the highest ranked item specifics. Utilizing a lot of those in your title will help you tremendously. Yeah. And it's really important. I know that sellers really want to editorialize to get that item sold. The proper place to do that with descriptors is in the description. That's why it's called a description. <laughs> That's correct. Right? Doing it in your title. And I've tested this. If you put words or extraneous punctuation in your title, your listing won't show up in Google Shopping. They'll, they'll reject it. They also seem That's to right. reject uh, all caps. They don't like That's all right. caps. So there's important things to remember. And look, you know, again, all of these things, all of these recommendations that I'm making, they clearly will help you on eBay, right? But now they will also help you on Google Shopping. It's like a double bonus, right? right? So all of these core you know, recommendations not only help you get further indexed on the eBay platform, they also give you a really good shot of being indexed on the Google Shopping platform as well. Yeah, that's, that's important. And again, we can never stress them enough, the best practices for sellers. We've been doing it for years now, but it's interesting to see how they affect showing up not only on eBay, but on Google Shopping. Because I'm, I'm suspecting that a lot of eBay sellers don't even consider what they're when they're putting a listing together, the importance of showing up outside of eBay on a place like Google Shopping. That's right. That's right. Well... Uh, is there anything else that you want to uh, talk about before we go? Yeah. Sure. I mean, I think, you know, um, this is a great opportunity, right, to yeah. obviously go check your listings. And I realize that it can take a lot of time to go back and sort of clean up your listings, but it is absolutely well worth your time to do it. And look, we've put a lot of tools into the platform to help you recognize when you're missing Certain item specifics are the most important ones, and you should take those recommendations. You can now edit those in bulk directly in active listings. You'll see it'll show you it's, it's telling you're missing certain recommended or required aspects. You can edit them right from there. And look, if you want to help, if you want help from a friend, remember we've got MUA. That's the multi-user account access, and you can grant access to your friends right, or other employees and they can go in and help edit those listings or clean up the photos for you. Yeah. So that's another really great thing to remember is you not necessarily have to do it all by yourself. You can actually grant permission using that tool and have other people help you with it uh, yeah. as well. Yeah, these important tools like the bulk editor and multi-user access, all these are important. What was that percentage again that of listings that are, are rejected by e uh, Google Shopping? Uh, it's about 12%. So yes. it's a big number, you know, when you think about how many millions of listings we're putting up there, right? It's tens of millions, hundreds of millions of listings because all of our fixed price listings go to Google Shopping. That's a really big number on stuff that's really easy to fix in your listings. Yeah, and you don't want to be that statistic. You want to be the you successful. Not want to be that statistic. <laughs> Absolutely right. Absolutely you, right. You want to be the uh, the eighty eight percent that gets through. So you want to make sure you're following the best practices as Harry's outlined, and then check. Go on Google Shopping, see where your listing's showing up. I do it. I'm always pleased when I see my things there as well. I know. It's exciting, right, to see when your listing's going on Google Shopping. Yes. Exactly. You know, you're out there in the world. Well, Harry, on that <laughs> note, I want to thank you for helping us understand a little bit better how Google Shopping works and what it means to sellers, and especially how sellers can help take advantage of it and make sure they show up. My pleasure. Great to be here as always, Griff. Thanks again. And I want to thank our sellers for listening in to the second of our month-long traffic series. Uh, next week, we're going to talk more about social media. We'll have an old friend who's going to visit with us for a while, and uh, she will explain how sellers can leverage social media to better connect with buyers.